sanitation in public places Sanit sanitation is required at each and every place such as in schools hospitals offices and in houses but public places need to have adequate sanitation and hygiene facilities because it is the major route to transfer harmful diseases special attention should be paid to the adequacy of facilities their availability to the public and the conditions of their operation there are several basic rules for sanitation in public places there should be sufficient toilet facilities for the maximum number of people using the area during the day single toilet can use only limited number of people the toilet facilities should be arranged in separate blocks for men and women the men's toilet block should have urinals and toilet compartments the women's block toilet compartments only the total number of urinals plus compartments in the men's block should equal the total number of compartments in the women's block toilet facilities should not be connected directly to kitchens because in order to reduce the number of flies entering the kitchen and to reduce odor reaching the kitchen there must be a hand washing basin with clean water and soap close to the toilet facilities there should be separate similar facilities near to kitchens or where food is handled giving information to public on good sanitations such information should be displayed in an eye catching simple and accurate way where appropriate large posters with bright colors and well chosen messages put up in obvious places are effective health and hygiene messages may be passed on to the public using such posters in public places these messages should include the promotion of hand washing use of reuse bins care of toilet facilities protection of water supplies local school children and college students can be involved in preparing educational posters and notices for public places